Okay, Virgos, welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is a general reading for all Virgos for the month of August 2019. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If it doesn't resonate, please check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. All right, and cross watchers, I was going to say cross walkers, cross watchers are welcome. So again, this is a general reading for Virgos for August 2019. Um, so Virgo, you, this can be your sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign. So please spirit, tell us what we need to know for Virgos, 2000, August, 2019. Spirit, what do we need to know for Virgo, August, 2019? All right, let's get started. Mm -hmm. I love you, my Virgos out there. I've got the eight of wands in reverse. I've got the Page of Pentacles, I've got the Sun, and I've got the King of Swords in reverse. Wow, your overall energy, Virgo, is King of Wands. This is Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn energy. Whoops, no, it's not. That's your energy. The King of Wands is Leo, <laughs> Aries, and Sagittarius. Woof, getting all mixed up here. Um, this is Leo, uh, Sagittarius, and Aries energy, and this is the King of Wands. He's all about adventure. He's all about spirit. He's all about passion. He's all about truth. He's the best of the best here, and he's usually a CEO type. Um, he's somebody who's traveled a lot in his past. He loves action, and he's one of the only guys out there that really, you know, one of the only kings out there that kind of preferred to be the knight and the fact that he's always about ready to jump up from his throne and take action. He is just so powerful and just so passionate. All right, and so Virgo, you may be thinking about or have been, been contemplating walking away from a situation or doing the best for everybody involved in the situation in the month of August. Now, the Eight of Wands, this is more fire energy. It's Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius energy. And the Eight of Wands are also known as the Rods of Love, so this may have to do with a love reading or love situation. And the Eight of Wands is also communication, all right? So, you know, you may be in separation or you may not be communicating with somebody, um, and that might be causing a bit of a, a bit of a, a rift between you two, but I kind of see that, you know, this could go one of two ways. The Eight of Wands is kind of a stagnant energy as well, you know, because the, when the wands are moving, they know exactly where they need to go. They know how they're going to get there. And here they've kind of gone up in the air and they look like they could just fall right back down in place. So something is sort of stagnant. You might be in separation. You might be, you know, in typical Virgo fashion, sort of pulling away, trying to figure out and plan. So Virgo, you're coming up here with the Page of Pentacles and Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn energy. And the Page of of pentacles is this very young energy it's this energy about planning it's all about studying it's about copious note taking it's about being completely ready and being the best apprentice there is the only thing that you're lacking is sort of life experience or the real hard experience so this doesn't have to be a relationship reading you guys it could also have to do with a new business or becoming a ceo or an entrepreneur um, it could be about your studies as well. So keep that in mind. But your energy shows up there and all the planning and everything necessary. Um, you know, is, you're, you're putting into this situation in August. Now we've got the sun card, which is our sort of Leo card. And the sun card is very awesome because it's all about partnership. So you could be getting back together with someone. You could be starting a new business. You may be joining together with, you know, a, a business partner. There are a lot of different options here. Uh, this is a mother and child and her children card. You know, you could, you could end up sort of throughout August having a child like, renewal feeling, you know, after the sort of eight of wands, once you sort of turn this energy around, um, and once you sort of plan and you know what's going to happen and where we're going to go and, you know, et cetera, X, Y, Z, everything's ready to go. You'll have this childlike innocence about you. You'll feel creative. You know, this is a real blessing and this is so awesome during August. And it looks like it'll be towards, you know, the second, the last half of August that you'll be feeling this energy. And she's really, the, here she's spinning and it's like she's spinning, you know, uh, yarn into gold. I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous. And so everything you touch, you know, you're going to have that mighty touch in the second half of August if this has to do with your health if it has to do with business or it has to do with relationships now we do have the king of swords um, coming in at the end so maybe a little bit of a warning towards the end of August um, this is air energy the king of swords is Libra Gemini and Aquarius and the king of swords is all about you know balance truth logic you know it's a very lawyer type person 
person, but in the in and he's very black and white. He's not sort of into the emotional, you know, the emotional side of things. But in the reverse, it's somebody who could be very narcissistic. It could be somebody who's a little bit mean, mean-spirited. So you have to make sure that either A, this doesn't isn't brought out in you, or B, you might be dealing with somebody at the towards the end of August with those qualities. So let's go ahead and clear this up. I'm going to pull some clarifies, clarifiers for you, my dear Virgos, my dear sweet steady Virgos. All right, so there's something that's ending here, and I get that, you know, there could have been a separation or a breakup, and it could be business or it could be love. All right, so something ended. Put a fork in me. It's done. All right, and uh, this is a loss. This is a running away with the circus card. This is an ending of a partnership. It could be a business. It could be a marriage. Um, you know, it was sort of like the traditional family values have gone out the window. You know, maybe you were with somebody and, you know, they've decided to travel or you've decided to travel, but the situation is dead and gone in August. All right. So that sort of sent you back to the drawing board. All right, very good. So here you have the Empress card coming out, creativity, nurturing, mother. This is like everything, everything just sort of falling in its place. So, you know, you're really in a time of creation, Virgo. All right, and wow, and it looks like there's going to be a lot of people and party and celebration. Um, maybe if you're newly single, there might be, you know, you might have a lot of love opportunities here. Okay, and you may even you may even meet the one here. You know, the Empress is that mother. Um, you know, could be the mother of your children um, if you haven't met her already. Or again, it could be a reconciliation. But you know, I get that this is somebody that either you see as the mother of your children, or maybe you get back together with the mother of your children. Okay, but it's just a really nice time of celebration, and it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun for you, and you're approaching it, you know, very logically and sort of with a young heart and with this sort of childlike renewal and innocence in August. Again, can I not say that again? Uh, it's, you know, it's just awesome. There's the full, again, that's innocence. You just take the necessary. You've dropped some baggage here having to do with whatever this ending was, and you've dropped some baggage um, and, you know, maybe you're going to set off and travel or maybe you're just going to approach everything like a child, you know, and, and there is a little warning in the Fool card. Just make sure you don't fall off any cliffs, you know, don't get too crazy. There's a lot of celebration and a lot of party, so make sure you're, you know, you're safe and you're healthy at all times. But again, you know, I get that you have this, you know, this free spirit and, you know, towards the second half of August, that's how you're going to be feeling, you know, like free spirited and alive and in the sun and having just a beautiful time. Uh, the 1111 card again, though, but that might come with just a little bit of, you know, make sure you're, you are appreciative of what you have. Okay, so what I see the fool is turning his back on, you know, this situation. They're turning their back on maybe a contract or a marriage or a partnership, and it may have been a karmic connection. Um, but really, I think at this time, you know, you need to do that because you're in the planning stages. Um, and, you know, you need to step into the sun. I get that this has been something that's been bothering you for quite some time. All right, so you're going to have this beautiful, amazing renewal here. Now, I get that if this is a relationship, Virgo, you need to be very careful because I've got the King of Swords in reverse and I've got the Queen of Swords in reverse. Now, this could be an ex, okay? So make sure that, you know, you might run into this ex and they might be really bitchy and really mean, but this couple and I, and you need to also stay the course and be nice, Okay, because it could be that, you know, after this sort of renewed, you know, energy and this travel and everything, it's going to be really great. But I do have a couple here. So it could be a business partner. Um, it could be, uh, it could be a business partner. It could be, you know, it could be an ex-love relationship. It could be the person you're married to or you were in a relationship with for a long time. But the Queen of Swords, you know, she's bitter, she's angry, he's bitter, he's angry. So you might have this sort of, if there is sort of a um, reconciliation, all right, make sure that you're, you're, you know, you're fair and you're just and you try not to, you know, don't make any rash decisions either, okay, based on some information, because remember, swords are also information. So maybe you, you find out that this person is seeing someone else, or maybe you find out something about your business partner, Okay, that you didn't really want to hear. 
Um, and you know, when you, you know, when you find out this information, don't act right away. Okay. Just make sure, you know, be calm, be Virgo about it and, uh, you know, everything will be fine. Okay. So remember uh, here we have the five of cups. So you're leaving, you know, something, something you're being left behind or you're leaving something behind and, and something that was very hard for you. Something that, you know, was emotionally, uh, you know, emotionally, it wasn't allowing you to, you know, to spread your wings and fly, okay? But it looks all pretty good. There's just a little bit of a warning towards the end of August, you know, if this, if you guys run into each other, I do get that this is a run-in, um, that, you know, you guys need to, you know, make sure that things don't get too bitter or too nasty. All right, yin and yang. So this is definitely about a partnership of some sort, Okay. So, you know, I get that, you know, this partnership ended or ends in the beginning of August. Again, it doesn't have to be romantic. All right. But then we have the angel of love. So, Virgo, you may be meeting the one, okay, in August. Or you may have met that one and maybe you're leaving someone, okay? And maybe you had to, you know, you had to free yourself up. All right, and here we have the first chakra, Archangel Michael. And this is all about going back to your roots, being clear, being free, being childlike, okay? But in the end card here, Virgo, I'm getting deceit coming out, okay? So make sure you're in touch with your roots. Make sure you don't turn your back on your commitments. And, you know, remember your, remember your roots. Remember who you are. All right, but here I'm getting there's deceit. There's a little bit of deception here. Wow, so, you know, don't make sure you're not deceiving yourself as well. So make sure that, you know, everything is, everything's, you know, you're above board, okay? And make sure you're not deceiving anybody either, all right? And your bottom card here is walking away. It was in reverse. So it may be a reconciliation as well, okay? But make sure that you're being truthful with this person and about this situation. Okay. All right. Let's just pull some clarifying oracle cards here. Rejuvenating rain. Clear the past. Heal the present. So something affecting this relationship is probably from, you know, issues that you've had in the past. Um, so again, you know, you do need to rejuvenate. And then also, you know, you need to, you need to heal yourself in the present. Okay. You need to be healed. All right, only you can do that. Solitude in silence, peace prevails. So you, I get that you really had to be alone, okay, in order to rejuvenate yourself. All right, and being alone and sort of learning about yourself and, and you know, dealing with the situation, answering the call, the time is now. All right, so it was something that you couldn't put off, okay, and there's something you have to do. I mean, you guys, clearing the past, clearing our blocks, opens our door to spirit and to happiness and it's so hard to do journey by moonlight believe in magic there is a divine plan wow virgo so it looks like august is going to be very interesting for you there's definitely going to be a purge i do want you to be careful if this whatever situation this is running into your ex-partner whether it's love or business or what have you um i want you to keep calm keep cool don't take any real actions but there's definitely love here remember who you are and just be careful of if you're deceiving yourself all right, because you do need to clear the past to heal the present. You may need some time alone in typical Virgo fashion. All right, but definitely believe in magic. So Virgos have a beautiful August. And thank you for listening. And please hit like, share, and subscribe. And leave me a comment if this resonates with you.